We've been taught that we have to take four teeth out to get the teeth upright over basal bone so that the cases will be more stable. And here's a guy who's a chiropractor in this town. His dad's a dentist, and he had four teeth taken out. And these are his teeth. <clears throat> Anyone notice a problem that may be a problem here? You're supposed to take out four teeth, right? So the teeth are more upright over basal bone to avoid recession. <clears throat> but do you think this may be a problem in this guy's life? Maybe? Really? Okay. So maybe in this case, taking the four teeth out and getting them over the basal bone wasn't helpful. Well, if taking out four teeth isn't enough, let's take out eight. All right? Here's a cuspid and a first molar, and a cuspid and a first molar. How many people have had eight teeth taken out in their head? How many of you ever seen a case like this? Now, fortunately, this is a really old case. You can see some really old braces on here with old bands. But look at that. My, oh, my. The teeth are upright over basal bone to prevent recession. But there is still recession. Of course, he gets a, a tire patch graft to go on here. But he's got, still got that recession going on. Uh, what do you think? Suppose we ought to take out the molars, too? I mean, if you're still getting recession and eight teeth are gone, what's the matter with 12? Go look at your cases. Some of the worst recession that you have in your patients in their 40s and 50s is on patients who've had four teeth taken out. So from the refereed literature, this is really nice to have this article come around to, to give credence to what I was doing for more than 20 years from one of the best orthodontic programs in the world, Aarhus, Denmark, Beertie Melsen here. Everybody knows her in Europe and in the United States. After massive labial movement incisors, the whole thing is about, gee, do you really get recession or not? And the answer is, gingival recession of mandibular incisors did not significantly increase during orthodontic treatment. After treatment, fewer than 10% of subjects had gingival recession greater than two millimeters, and at follow-up, 5% of the pre-existing gingival recession had improved. Blah, blah, blah. The point is, it's okay. And yet, how many of you do Invisalign here? How many of you, how many of you reproximate the teeth when you do? Because you're afraid to advance them. Or Invisalign tells you that you shouldn't. Why do you let Invisalign rule your life? And you reduce the tongue space potentially by doing so. If one article isn't enough, how about another? Periodontal status of mandibular incisors after pronounced orthodontic advancement during adolescence. This is from Artun. Adolescent orthodontic patients with dental alveolar retrusion may be treated with pronounced advancement of the mandibular incisors without increasing the risk of recession. Recession that occurs during the period of active treatment is not progressive. <laughs>